is a brand new update for Witchfire. Let's go and talk about this. First and foremost, I would love to go through the changes uh, that were made in this update. Then I would love to compare it to the previous one and if, if I'm feeling it's better or worse. And then let's go for some things that I would love to add in the future updates. And, and I will let, you know, talk about a few things at the end. So, before we will jump into new stuff, I just want to talk about the thing, uh, what is Witchfire? Because some of you maybe never heard about the game, never saw the game. So, Witchfire is single player extraction shooter roguelite. That's quite a, that's quite a lot, right? So, what, what is happening with this game is that you are like secret order of the Pope and you are hunting witches, right? You are going in the region where witches are changing reality and they are adding something to the world that you don't want to see there. So, you as a prayer, which is the name of the character, you are going to hunt them. You are using witchcraft, so you are slinging spells. You are also using guns for your choosing, so you want to use shotgun, you want to use revolver, or you want to go for a sniper rifle, for example. So you are combining all those things to be the best you can be, right? You will spawn into the map and you will start killing enemies and you are trying to go and then find the resources they are dropping. Volatile Witchfire. This is the resource that you will accumulate and that can help you level up your character. That's a roguelite mod, right? So you, if you return back to your base and you can spend these resources to get yourself a little boost, for example, for stamina, to, to dodge more or health or maybe a regeneration of your spells. So you can choose how you want to play your prayer. So, but there is a catch, right? Because it's extraction shooter. You need to extract with the resources, otherwise you will get nothing. So you will spawn into the map, you are going around and then you need to extract through the portal. If you die, everything that you, uh, you collected, it staying on the ground but you can go again as a dark souls uh if you have a, ever played that game if you die uh you have one more chance to go get yourself your corpse and get those resources back and then you can extract again so with those resources you can use a variety of equipment in your base for example as i said you're leveling up your stats other thing you are making research so you can go with more spells you can go with different guns for example you can also go for items you have now three separate things which was one before you can have ring fetish and relic each of them specialize in different kind of thing for example defense and offense so this exactly is the building or you are making yourself a prayer that is specializing on things that you would love to run and uh, everything like that is just it works right you're going there the gunplay is slick you are just slaying the enemies and collecting stuff and returning back and going for that harder and harder encounters and to to also defeat the witches right defeat the bosses and uh, get the resources and get for new maps so that's the witch fire in the nutshell what they added with this update is uh, more weapons so three more weapons new spells two more spells added three magic items so there's quite a lot of that on that part also they they change how arcana works which is the roguelike element when you jump into the map you slay the enemies in the area you will spawn the crystal and when you interact with the crystal you can choose between three out of two out of three options you can choose one of them and that will give you boost in something what you're doing so for example you can find that you will be reloading faster you will have more stamina you will have more health or something like that so so based on that you can really go in in some way for example you like heavy spells which is one of the kind so you boost the recharge speed of the heavy spells for example so that's kind of interesting right and unlock more arcanas right from the get-go so you will have more opportunities and more different where choice right from the bat other thing that i really like on this update they added a whole new system prayers prayers are 18 uh, prayers that added to to the game and you can alternate every single row that you can choose between those three as i mentioned and you can for example go that you will get weapon choice but there there could be like but you can choose only one of the three because there is an option 
to have two on the row. So there is a, there is alternate like system that's changing this and it's making more unpredictable. And in some cases, on the other way, you can really go and choose that this row should be about the weapons because you want to focus on the weapons, so you will get it. So there are prayers and there are also corrupted ones. So that will change the, your your row and it will go with something negative. So they they added a whole new system which is kind of neat and I think that is needed for the game and I think that this will go like well in the future. They will add more and it will be more fun. Also what they added in this update is a new map. So now we have three maps that you can delve into fight enemies each map got different like theme different different objectives to do and with this one there is even the puzzle that you have to go and then figure it out and that you can delve into the tower and find something below so because i i played the game right from the get-go when it was originally released so i kind of see the progression of the uh, like the, the the systems and how they are changing them so for example there was a there was an issue there was a progression issue that you, as I said before, you're leveling up your character, right? Which is great, which is the, the, the idea that you are getting stronger, you are not punished as much because you got, for example, more health. But problem before was that if you level up your character several times, the, the, the world just got stronger. So, for example, you went through the map, you shoot quite a lot of enemies, it was it was great, you finally extract it, you level up your character and return back to the same map, but now there were like traps, there were more enemies, more brutal enemies, and you were like, what the hell happened? Now I am just getting crashed, like the, this is not, like I level up, so my I should be stronger, but now I'm not, because there are more enemies and it's harder. So they change how this works. So you can level up your character and you have separate like system at the book that you can level up and that level up will increase the, the threat of the world and that will add more, more stuff to do in the map, which is awesome, I love that. But you are kind of like, you know, making it... You are kind of choosing when you want the world to go up in the strength, which is fantastic. Also, what the, what they changed, and I kind of like that idea, that before you went for research, you picked two researches and then you went into the map. And if you wanted, you could spend one resource that you can find, that's a gold, and you could spend to speed up the research. Right now they change it, so now you need gold for the the later stages of the research. And I think that's a really good decision because it feels better, because it feels more to the extraction part. And you need that gold to be able to uh, unlock more stuff and something like that. And I think that's a good decision right there. With each content, they're adding more monsters to fight, which is absolutely great because that variety is giving you the, the sauce, right? <laughs> something that you are going for to learn new tricks, new things, so there are new monsters. On the other hand, changes I would love to see still, like in the future. One of them is changing the world with your choice. That means they made a huge step from, the, as I said before, that you are leveling up your character and that will change the threat of the world and then now they will be stronger and something like that, they will add more stuff to it, so which is great, but you know, the progression not feel that good. They added a book that you can level up the world that will change the difficulty. I would go a step further. I would love to see that when you are choosing the map you are going into, I would love to see that you can choose the level of difficulty you are going for. For example, the harder it will get, the more resources you will get, different resources you can obtain because there will be the elite enemies that, for example, will spawn some kind of resource that is not possible on the previous tiers or the lower tiers. So you, to inst like, to tell you, yeah, you should go for the harder difficulty because you need this, for example, for progression further. But I would love to have the opportunity to go for the weaker or, or lower tier. Just for example, I'm not feel confident to go through through this this harder map 
just yet. So let me choose my difficulty and go for what I feel right. And when I feel like it, I'll be like, yeah, let's go for the hard one, right? Let's go, let's go boost up the world a little bit because I need that research to progress further. I, I would love to see some kind of interaction with this kind of idea uh, to choose my difficulty other than the book. When, because when you level up the book, everything changes and you can't go back. So if you are going through, you know, you are on the par, you are all right, but you are not really slaying them easily. You level up the book and then you are crushed, right? And you're like, what the hell is going on? That could be endpoint for somebody. So the changing of the difficulty by my choice is kind of something that I would love to see. Other thing, they uh, in the last update, they changed the thing how you choose the character at the beginning. Because when it was the game was released, you had only one choice. You played as a prayer, right? That was the guy, you jump into it, you got gun and go for it. And research more guns and, and customize your, your guy in the future. But they change it, now you have six different classes. And those classes is giving you different spell, different weapon, and also different stats. So you have a butcher, for example, or, or, or someone else, that each of them got several levels. So you are starting, for example, on level six, and each of them got different stat allocated. So you can go for a more mage build, or you can go more for the gunplay, right? So that's, that's perfect, I like that. But I would get again step further. I feel it's the same approach as Remnant 1 had. Right? When you played Remnant 1, you choose the class right from the get-go, you get the gear, but in the end, you could find the gear in, in, in the playthrough, change the gear, and your class identity is out, right? And so I would love for them to go, for example, the road that Remnant 2, two day, took, and for example, each of the class will get specific spell. So. For example, the, when you go for, for the gun guy, he will have, for example, overheat. So his weapons now don't consume for a few seconds ammunition, for example. So, you know, go a little bit deeper in the class fantasy. I think it, it, it is just so good for replayability because you will go level up the character, one character, and then you can go again go for a new character and pick different one with a different skill and that would just give it a huge identity for yourself to equip different kind of weapons, go for a different build. I think that would be so good. But I don't know, maybe I'm alone. Let me know down below in the comment section what do you think, what updates they should add to really put the game out there and make, make it even better. Before we will wrap this up, there is, a, there is a huge update from, from the developers also that the game should be released to 1.0 in, in the fourth quarter of this year and it's supposed to come out on Steam as well. Because right now you can play the game, you can buy it on the Epic Store. You can find the link in the description if you if you want to check out the game yourself now. Or but they added the wish list possibility on the Steam and they should release the game in like few months. So if you want to probably wait maybe on the Steam release, you can do that by wishlisting the game. What I am what I am going for is that I would love to start the game from the beginning, right? Go from a fresh when the game will be released. And I will go on the Steam release, right? And we will be playing through the game together on the stream. So I am I am really hyped for this game because it really works. The game plays really well. Like the gunplay is smooth, like the spell slinging and everything. The vibe of the game is kind of grounded. You are, you are the prey, right? You are slaying the enemies. It's just got the re really nice flow to it and I really enjoy the playing the game. Also the visuals. Visuals are great. The game looks really nice. So I, I just want them to add more progression system, more stuff to research, more stuff to find. Those small things and interactions that you could find like for example coin and you didn't know what the coin is for and then in the different map you found the, the, that you can spend the coin to open the gate so you need resource from one map to progress the second one so those things are just immaculate this is really cool I like that so more of that more progression like the prayers really good really good job to to really interact more with the with the customization of what you are going for it's just giving them more replayability but that will do it for today. Hope you enjoyed this 
short video to just show you the witchfire and also what, what is new in this update let me know down below in the comment section what you missed in this video if i miss anything is there any, something new that i haven't mentioned let me know down below in the comment section i would love to see that and also if you would love to jump into the witchfire you can check the guide that i made when the, when the game was released so there are a few a few things how for example the mushroom works and uh, other stuff that it's really important to know because it will help you right from the beginning so you can check it out or you can check the different video that will show you a different game why not please yourself and do something good for your health play a little bit of games and relax okay but that's all from me today thank you very much for being awesome because you are and i will see you all next time peace